Hey loves, new video here. Today we're going to be installing this hair from Ula Hair. So it came with a care guide, so instructions to care for your hair. It's curly hair, so I'm quite excited that it came because you need to take care of your curly hair. So down to product recommendations to use with the wig or on the wig, it came with that. Also got a wig cap, I got a comb to use to style the hair, and then I got a pair of lashes to use. Yeah, so let's get into this wig. So now here we have the 5x5 five five HD Closure Deep Wave 24 inches wig. This came in a natural black color. It was love at first sight. Like I love the curls. And it, you know, it was looking like it had some like really good volume. It has a comb on the inside of the cap to ensure that it's all secure. Now this closure looked really good. It looked really, really good. And the hair quality itself was given. I was just running my hands through it just for fun. So like I said, the closure has a very natural look the hairline looks pre-plucked but i decided to do some extra plucking on my own just to make sure it looks better so i'm using my tweezers and i'm just going to work that through until i'm satisfied so i pluck and then i would cut out a section and then pluck again So it's time for us to wear this baby and let's see how it looks on my head. Okay, so I'm gonna drag this forward and this is what we have. Okay, it looks really good. I'm going to have to adjust this center part because I did it on the mannequin and it does not exactly match like the center of my head so well so i need to adjust that but the hairline looks good with the plucking that i did i don't like the hairline to be too scanty and i like the fact that the hair has good volume yeah so let's just get to it so i think i want to adjust the center part first then i'm going to apply the spray glue to lay it down properly and style the hair so let's adjust the center part i'm not even good at doing like center parts that's why i like to buy my wigs as the center parts because to be honest i i just be fumbling sometimes all right so i think this looks much better yeah it looks way better than what was there before um let me just adjust the down part i really like the way wigs like give me a different look like i love it so much how it looks so different every time i change my hair it's it's quite nice that we girls have that superpower to be honest <laughs> so because this is a closure i'm not going to stress myself to spray it down first and i want to use very little product one because it's a closure like it doesn't need so much product two also because I have makeup on. So I'm going to cut the lace off then. I'm going to use some spray just to melt it down. That's all I'm going to do because let's be honest, this looks pretty good. And I like the fact that this looks like um, a wig that I can just easily throw on after today. I won't need to like do customization or be laying it down with glue. The hold is very good. So you can go as a glueless wig in case you don't want to 
do all the whole spraying or using glue it can grow as a glueless weed to be honest so i'm going to start by taking out this side here and um, let's do the same thing here so i have this side to cut off this side and then the middle here middle here so let's take off this one <laughs> This one is done and let off the cut the lace itself. Oh nice. So this is what we have to be honest. I almost can't see the lace. So like I said, you can decide to wear this as a glueless wig. Okay, so we are all done with cutting and this is what it looks like now. It looks so good guys. I'm just going to use very little product just to melt it down and have that you know very nice finish so it looks you know perfect but if you're someone that just wants to throw it on you can decide to stop here i want to drag it forward a bit more because it looks like my forehead is just outside <laughs> guys so first of all i need to apologize for how the sun might be moving in this video it's a very sunny day and i'm using natural lights to film so bear with me now it's time for me to spray everything down i'm going to be going in with got to be spray and also with the comb that came in the package so just a um, tiny tooth comb let me put it that way i don't even know what it's called but yeah just the comb i'm going to use it and i'm trying my possible best not to spray a lot of product so i'm going to start with this edge here to just spray And then once I spray, I'm going to use the tip of the comb to press it down. And we continue doing that all the way. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the band. Let's just cook it, okay? Let's just, let's just do this for doing sake. It's not like you really need to, to be honest. But just to give it a better, like, finish. So let's... Put the band down so it holds it together while it dries and it is nice and flat hey guys so this is what the hair looks like now this is for like every day like you just want to rush out just use some glue or you know you can skip the glue use your hot comb to ensure hair is nice and flat i'm going to show you how you can touch up here because you can see where the wig cap is stopping on the inside so just to make it look like you have a more natural Parting, just use your concealer and drag it. I'm still going to do that, but this is what it looks like. Very simple. I would have plucked the hairline more. I would have loved to pluck the hairline more just so it gives a more natural look in front, but it still looks really, really good the way it is. This is what the length looks like. This is where it is reaching me. So just here, if I'm to drag it, it will come down to like my waist here yeah um great so i definitely love it. it's great for like simple outing you know you want to just look fab you want some extra oomph you don't want to do the normal straight hair you want some curls it looks so so amazing guys so let us continue in this process i want to do baby hairs yeah i know i'm not very perfect with it but i want to add a little bit of extra to it it looks good but we can take it to the next level and adding baby hair and you know making your closures like customizing the front of your closure has a way of making it look like a frontal you know so it gives that more like glammed up effect even if you're using a frontal a closure rather you can still have that frontal look so let us achieve that so i'm going to take my baby hair for the end of the closure and it's good because it helps to cover up any you know like this thicker tract you have here and also if the weft is showing but the weft is not really showing here okay so the baby hairs have been done i'm not the best okay let me just put it out there that i'm not the best with baby hair but i did try to do something 
um the one by this side definitely is is always better because like my left side because i'm left-handed is usually my better side even when it comes to makeup my left brow most of the time looks better than my right brow yeah um so this is what we have now okay i like it i like it so much so let me touch up on the frontal here so you don't need a lot of concealer on your brush and then just drag it to the front yep this is literally all you need to do i'm going to take some to the back to define the parting hey guys so this is what the hair looks like on me i absolutely love it it is so gorgeous i love the volume i love the curls like i didn't know that i ended a curly wig until now and now i'm so happy that i have one this one from ula hair is everything and more the texture of the hair it feels really good it is soft it was very easy to style if i want to make the hair a little bit like the curls to be more defined i'll just go in with water but to be honest i'm i love it this way i think i'm more of a big volume hair kind of girl um yeah so this is it to be honest let me just show you guys the length again yeah so it just falls down perfectly and i want to know your thoughts on this another thing i want to do is style the hair differently so i want to try a side part and i want to do an updo with the hair you know you know i'm all about rocking one thing in different ways from hair to clothes everything has to be rocked in different ways because that's how you get the most value out of it right so let us restart this baby okay so i'm going to pick this side for the side part so i don't want it to be too side so i think here is fine okay guys so this is the side part now i i love it i love it but i think i prefer the center let me know which one you guys prefer in the comment section um yeah it looks gorgeous so even if it is a closure you can wear it either a center part or a side part and still have that frontal look okay you just want to make sure that your side is not too side because you know the webs will start to show if it's too much to the side and then of course add some baby hair just so it looks like a frontal yeah so you now know how to style your wig in different ways we have one more style that i want to try out which is the updo i'm sure you've seen it on social media different people trying that i'm going to try to attach like one or two pictures here but that's what I want to try and do with this hair because you should be able to achieve it with curly hair. So I need to bring my center part back. But yeah, this is what the side part looks like. Um, let me know what you guys think about it. It's gorgeous. I know. <laughs> guys so this is the final hairstyle definitely it looked easier online but yeah we're able to achieve it i definitely just love how this adds some extra hmm, okay to the hair already um yeah so this is nice if you're kind of going for a more dressed up look okay it's giving you know glammed up gen z <laughs> let me put it that way yeah i like the half up and then half down and how hair is nice and flat. I love the fact that even though the hair is curly, when I use the hot comb on it, hair came flat really well and currently it looks really good. I'm going to add some hairspray just to, you know, set the whole hair together. Yeah, but you guys should let me know which look was your favorite or is your favorite from 
all the three different styles i'm going to leave a direct link to this hair in the description box so you can check it out and check out other wigs from ula hair i love it so much like now the curls are like so pretty and this hairstyle too is so pretty i think i'm gonna call my mom after this video and show her my face i say hi mom i look so pretty what do you think about this hair <laughs> I just want to hear a reaction to be honest yeah so you guys should give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and make sure you subscribe for more videos like this and i'll see you guys in my next video bye